Martian mysteries never seem to end. After all, we're talking about an entire world that's still largely unexplored. One of the most remarkable facts about the Red Planet is its thin, rarefied atmosphere, which allows space objects to fall to the surface with relative ease. Because of this, rovers on Mars occasionally come across strange objects, such as a dark, plate-like structure recently discovered by the Perseverance rover. The object immediately caught scientists' attention, as it looks completely different from any other rock found in the region. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at exactly what was discovered. Mars's atmosphere is one of the most intriguing features of the Red Planet. Much thinner than Earth's, it represents just about 1% of Earth's atmospheric pressure at sea level. It is s composed mostly of carbon dioxide, around 95% of all the atmospheric molecules, along with small amounts of nitrogen, argon, and traces of oxygen and water vapor. This thin layer of gas has a major influence on erosion, climate, and how objects from space enter the atmosphere. On Earth, the dense atmosphere acts as a powerful natural shield. When meteoroids enter at high speeds, air compression generates such high temperatures that most of them burn up before reaching the ground. This process gives us the shooting stars we see in the night sky. But on Mars, it's a different story. Because the atmosphere is so much thinner, space rocks encounter far less thermal friction, meaning they often reach the surface mostly intact. This makes Mars something of an open-air museum for meteorites and small asteroids. Several robotic missions, such as the Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance rovers, have already identified and studied metallic and rocky meteorites scattered across their paths. One of the most notable examples was the Heat Shield Rock U meteorite found by Opportunity in 2005. Orbital probes have captured images showing hundreds of new craters formed in recent years, many only a few meters wide, but large enough to reveal new materials and even signs of underground ice. The fact that meteorites strike Mars largely intact also has important implications for astrobiology. They may carry primitive organic compounds, and if protected within the rock, these materials could offer valuable clues about early solar system chemistry or even about the potential transfer of complex molecules between planets. In short, although Mars's thin atmosphere is insufficient to shield the planet from radiation and extreme temperature shifts, it creates a unique setting for meteorite landings. To give you a sense of comparison, usually less than 5% of a space object survives Earth's atmosphere to reach the ground. On Mars, things are different and the planet stands out as one that allows these cosmic visitors to survive re-entry and land in excellent condition. Mars becomes not only a window into the past of the solar system, but also a place where truly mysterious rocks have been found, and even heard. That's right. On one rare occasion, a now inactive Mars lander detected one of these impacts using seismic waves. Let's listen to that unusual moment. It includes two parts. First, the explosion of the asteroid in the atmosphere, and then its successive impacts on the ground. Music, SFX. Pretty interesting, right? But now, let's turn our attention to the latest finding by Perseverance. Even though Mars is already known for being rich in meteorites, this particular discovery has generated quite a buzz. With a rough surface, deep cavities, and a striking lead-gray color, the rock stood out sharply from its surroundings and caught scientists' attention. The location of the find is especially promising from a geological perspective. It es a transition zone between different types of rock, where outcrops had already been observed in orbital images. This region is known for rocks that appear out of place, possibly having been transported by ancient impacts or erosion. However, the rock in question has such a unique shape that it raises deeper questions about its origin. The rock was detected on April 11, 2025, and has since been under intense study. The surface cavities have led to several hypotheses. One possibility is that Martian winds eroded the surface over millions of years. Another idea is that specific minerals within the rock eroded at different rates, leaving the pitted texture behind. 
This led scientists to consider that the rock may have originated elsewhere, or possibly even outside of Mars. Its dark color and unusual shape fueled the theory that it might be a meteorite fragment that survived entry through Mars's atmosphere. However, detailed analysis ruled out the theory. Instruments aboard Perseverance revealed that the rock's chemical composition does not match any known Martian meteorite types, suggesting a different origin. The most plausible explanation so far is that it's an igneous rock, meaning it formed from cooled lava or magma, a sign of volcanic processes that helped shape Marsias past. Igneous rocks are common on both Mars and Earth and often contain high amounts of iron and magnesium, which could explain the dark coloration. Studying these types of rocks can help scientists better understand the processes that formed them, and in turn, shed light on the geological evolution of the Red Planet. As Perseverance continues its journey through Jezero Crater, this rock remains one of the most intriguing discoveries of the mission so far. Whether it's a meteorite or not, the uniqueness of such an object, sitting alone in a dry riverbed that may once have been fed by flowing water, makes it especially compelling. This rock could hold valuable clues about Mars's geological and even climatic history. With each analysis, scientists move a little closer to answering one of humanity. Yee's Great Questions how did Mars go from being a potentially hospitable world to such a dry and enigmatic planet? Even after decades of exploring Mars, the planet continues to reveal new mysteries, almost on a daily basis. This latest discovery has raised many questions, but the answers are still to come. As someone who's deeply passionate about astronomy, I have to say, discoveries like this are what keep my curiosity alive. Mars has always captured the human imagination, but what we're seeing now, with real data and high-resolution images from rovers like Perseverance, is beyond anything we could have dreamed of just a few decades ago. Every unusual rock, every crater, every new texture on the Martian surface tells a story. And sometimes those stories raise more questions than answers, which, to me, is the best part of science. What really fascinates me is how this particular rock, so different from everything around it, sparked such intense scientific interest. At first glance, it seemed like it could be a meteorite, a remnant of a cosmic traveler from deep space, but then, when the data said otherwise, it opened up even more possibilities. Could it be volcanic? Was it moved here by an ancient flood? Or is it evidence of a geological process we haven't even considered yet? The mystery itself is a beautiful thing. It's moments like these that remind me why space exploration matters. Not just for the grand discoveries or the search for life, but for the constant expansion of our understanding. Mars is like a natural laboratory frozen in time, preserving clues about the early solar system, planetary evolution, and even the potential for life beyond Earth. And every time Perseverance rolls a few meters forward, it could be approaching another discovery just as surprising, or even more profound. As an astronomy enthusiast, I feel incredibly lucky to be living in a time when we can witness all of this unfold in near real time. We're not just reading about distant worlds, we're exploring them. And the more we learn, the more humbled and inspired I feel by the vastness of the universe and the brilliance of human curiosity. I truly believe that this is just the beginning, amazing stuff. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. See you next time.